same day. Uh, okay, same okay, day. shit. Yeah. Interview. See, y'all yeah. niggas got y'all, y'all yeah. niggas be hating on the white bitches and the white niggas. What you talking about? The white niggas be like, and it's nighttime. Tequila, what I said, like but I still slap. Hell with that, my nigga trying to oh, get you. Oh, you like fry. sushi? Hell with that, my nigga trying to get you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And she shining. Who the fuck is that? What's up, move? And she she aren't you out the window? window? So. So you see we if I do everything you ask you for, I should get like credit for it, right? Relationship credit. Relationship credit. Like, what's your relationship credit score? She know what she do, she make it. I did everything I put through today, nigga. I'm at a, I'm at 800. <laughs> I know, but, but you have a credit score, you miss one, you miss one payment. Oh, you drop out of the 500 fans. That's the door. What's that? Shit. Enough? Look, back at it again. We came back. And it's only right, it's only right that we come back and we we do this like this. This Friday we got to have our own personal DMX tribute. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where's the peace DMX? So, yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask that one question that DMX the ex never got an answer. For. I know. And we gotta ask the same damn question. You ready for this? What, what these bitches, bitches want from my nigga? What these bitches want, man? Like that's that's the show for today. We're gonna ask the question, and hopefully we could get closer to the answer. You know, my my brother Daniel over here drinking uh, vodka and cranberry with a hint of grenadine and motherfucker. Something different, you know. So we gotta switch it up, you know. I'm, I'm not drinking. really a vodka drinker, but here, fuck it. I'm drinking 1800 straight. Why? Cause I'm great. You feel me? <laughs> Um, but the question is, what do these bitches, what these bitches want? But, this is my whole thing when it comes to asking the question about these bitches. Mm -hmm. Bitches don't know what the fuck they want to begin with, and we, we try to figure out how can we get close to what they don't want. Do so we, we overcompensate to Yeah, because the question, the question confused us, like, what, what should I do to make it acceptable for you? Like, what gonna make you happy? If I do this, and they don't care about that shit, and but they, but that's the problem. At the end of the day, they teach us to be a uh, gentleman. They teach us to be. But bitches don't want you to be the gentleman. They don't. They want you to call them bitches. <laughs> that's why you call them bitches. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, that's why when you come and you hear people say the nice guys come in last, that's why. Cause bitches don't want nice guys. They want nice guys at the end of the road. <laughs> yeah. Is it in no. the road? But I can't, I can't shock your ass because now I'm aggressive, now I'm an abuser. But you want somebody to get close to that. They want you to get real close to that point and then back off. Bitch for what? But see, this is the problem, right? Is it the way that these that, that they come in this world and they're trained? Is it the way that the the society makes it because they be honest with you, right? They said they want a nice guy. Yeah. Every female in this world had one nice guy that they did wrong. Hold on, ladies, comment this shit. What is a nice guy to you? And let us know, cause right now I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. I don't know. I don't know because you know a nigga could pay the bills, a nigga could take care of the kids, a nigga could. Could cook, clean, all that other shit, but honestly, honest God, true, that's not what. That's One false move, and aren't you out the window? So, so if I do everything you ask for, I should get like credit for it, right? Relationship credit. Relationship credit. Like, what's your relationship credit score? Well, oh, shit, I did everything I supposed to do today, nigga. I'm at, a, I'm at eight hundred. <laughs> I know, but, but, but you have a credit score. You miss one, you miss one payment. Oh, you got out of the five hundred fans. That's how they. <laughs> I like that one. Relationship credit score. Yeah, they that they really hold us to that kind of yeah. that type of shit. Like, nigga, you miss one payment, you miss one thing. Oh, but you forgot a yeah. mom picking the kids up on time. What the fuck is that? But they got picked up. <laughs> like it don't matter about the they got picked up. You didn't see the trash in the kitchen? I didn't go to the kitchen, motherfucker. Oh, uh, you did. <laughs> the fuck? Like, why do the you gotta pick like who gotta do something? You see it, you do it. That should be a rule, Jeff. If you see it, just do it. It shouldn't be a sign 
agenda. Just do it. If you're if you're a couple, it's us, right? If we're one, right? I see, you see. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm at work, you see it. You gonna do it, right? But see, this is this, this one thing. Like, shout out to Kevin Samuel. I, I, I mean, I've been watching this shit for for shit. for a minute now, and he was saying that when a woman is single, they take a hundred percent of the of, of the bearing. They take a hundred percent of everything, right? They get their own nails done, mm -hmm. they get their own hair done, it all that shit, right? When you when they get with a nigga, the nigga's supposed to provide. they want to divide that. They want no 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 no. They want the nigga to provide. But they tell, but, okay, so, initially, when you go and meet somebody, I know I'm good, man, you throw that shit out, man, I'm good, but a woman, yeah, she's independent, I get my own hair done, I get my own nails done, I do everything for myself, so you do everything for yourself before the relationship, why should that change when you get into a relationship, still do the shit, and then, if I decide to do it because I want to do it, it's a gesture of appreciation. You know, it is 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 the fact. I'm that, not obligated to do that shit. No, it's the fact that their expectations change with a title. That's why so many men are we're scared to get women. Okay, so I know women, y'all bring this shit up a lot, but you know how people talk about like the patriarchs in the, the matriarch society. Oh, how gosh. back in the day, like women were here or women should be here just like men, mm -hmm. and it don't work like that because if that was the case, a woman would need nothing from a dude, only that companionship. Cause she still do shit on her own. Yeah, but it comes. See, it's not. Well, the need, it's not. It's not the needs anymore. It's their wants. They want all this shit from the dude, but still want to be on the equal playing field. That's like if I got a million dollars, right? Yeah. If I got a million dollars right now, right, and I go talk meet a girl who's starting up her first business and is in and she's starting a boutique, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, look, you, I got a million. I'm gonna front you ten thousand, a hundred thousand. Get your boutique going. Her boutique going and popping. Do that give her the right to disrespect me in public? No, no. So that, but that's, but that's the thing. The moment that they they feel that they're bosses, the moment they feel like, moment they feel like they got an itch, they they think that they're above you. And I don't have, and I don't have, I love, I love like women that that handle their own. No, do their that's own shit. like that's sexy when a woman can say that. She she not inferior to her man because she she doing the same shit. Mm -hmm. If she out there doing shit for herself, it's not taking away from the relationship. The same that we're building together two separate things. If I got a barber shop, you got a beauty shop. We out here making money together separately, but the money comes to one bank account. But you know one the one problem is, a lot of women don't play team sports, and a lot of women that do play team sports are gay. So, this is a concept that women use and men kind of abide by when they say like my money is my money your money is is, is my money mm -hmm. it's like the woman wants to consume everything and my question is why like why can't it be your money is your money my money is my money the bills are paid that's it <laughs> or everything is ours is our money so if I make money you make money it's our money we're both making that money together why separate but this is the problem like I said go back to what I said the problem is Women don't play team sports. So let me ask, so I'm gonna tell you this, right? Uh, Magic Johnson, greatest point guard of all time. Boom, right? Boom. Assist leaders and all this other shit, yeah. right? Sometimes he put up 20 assists. Sometimes he put up 40 points. Mm -hmm. He plays his role. Derek Fisher was a part of all Kobe championships. Correct. R.P. to Kobe. Derek Fisher would never be a fucking All Star or Hall of Fame. No, but he played his role and got five fucking championships yes. together. Yeah. When it's all said and done, we know if I play football, if I'm a linebacker, mm -hmm. I can't play quarterback. Mm -hmm. I have to trust you to handle the quarterback. And I do my job. And I do my job. Yeah. So whatever that job is for each other. That's that's the basic mindset. The thing is, is that they was taught by TLC. They was taught by shit. They, now they talk about the city girls. Yeah. Now they talk about Trina. I don't even know man nigga. Yeah. Like now, that is something that is something that we should talk about also is how music <laughs> influenced the society too. Because before the music that women were listening to was promoting love. Now that love is diminished. There's no, there's no more love in music. Now is Taking advantage of the situation, uh, 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 what is it? Get that bag and you know, shake your ass and get that money, and they supporting that. 
get that head, get that bread, and then leave. Yeah, and but that's the, the, the see the problem is them women that's getting that head mm -hmm. and getting that bread, mm -hmm. and then they leave. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what the fuck they doing. So when they face and they ass and they stomach and they titties hang and sag and look fucked yeah. up, who the fuck is gonna talk to? Nobody. Nobody. Let me ask you a question. There we go. There we go. Like I, I, I can't even bring up these video vixens' names. I can't even think of a lot of them. But a lot of these video vixens that was popping in the early two thousands. Mm -hmm. All right, the GS, little mm -hmm. raggedy. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are, you know, working at Walmart. Yeah. A lot of them's not doing success because yeah, because sex only sells for a moment of time. Yes, it does. Sex don't sell forever. No. Porn stars don't fuck forever. Some of them marriage don't last because you suck a mean dick. Nah, it doesn't. And that don't keep a relationship because you can suck a mean dick. It doesn't. You know, it's a good. It's a. It's, it, it's, it's a positive. <laughs> like it, it don't go unnoticed. It, it might get you a couple of you know shoes from Nike or mm -hmm. something like that. But the thing is, the overcompensating on sex takes out the meaning of why out together. But see, that's it, a, takes, it takes it away because if a woman thinks that she can only offer sex, she's only a sex object and she has nothing else to offer because she's still like that. But see, I posted something today and I told I posted something today on Instagram. I was like, uh, the dude was going to take the girl out on a date. I don't know if you've seen it. Dude was going to take the girl out on a date and she was like, where was you going to go? She was like, we're going to go bowling, go to the movies, go to dinner. He mm -hmm. said, okay, how much is that going to cost you? Mm -hmm. She was like, he was like, probably like 150 Yeah. She was like, well... We could go here. I got EBT, so I can cook a meal. We could watch Netflix, and maybe we could bowl in the bowls, you know, so whatever. Yeah. Uh, but you run me that 150. You feel me? Truth be told, I respect that woman yeah. more than the woman that's going with all the antics. But here's the thing about that is, is if the guy had the plan to, but the one reason why she said he said 150 is because she wanted to pay her phone bill. Yeah, that's the reason. But shit, didn't say that. That's what she did say. She did say. Oh, okay. Well, she just said she all right. I mean, look, it's different levels to a woman being direct and being like a snake trying to take advantage of the dude. Mm -hmm. You know, so by her doing that, kudos. Because the dude could say, hell yeah, because, you know, shit, I, I was going to spend 150 here. You could have it. We still going to hang out and. We still going to do the yeah, same, shit, same, same shit. I'm going to save money, you know, because technically I ain't got to pay for gas. And I'm helping you out. And I might get some pussy. And, and because I help you out, my fucking uh, stock went up. Mm -hmm. Because I'm doing something for you that I didn't really have to. I could say, no, we're going out to eat. But you fucks with me, though. Yeah. But you like, like, and now you fucks with me, and I, it's like. For sure. Now you cooking and now I know you can cook. Yeah. Now I know. So it's like my whole thing. My reason I ask that question is is because Maestros. You go to Maestros on a date. That's that's four hundred. Man, like, you got like, that. Like <laughs> my, Maestros is like the final boss. <laughs> no, it don't start off with Maestros. No, it's going to somewhere local and we're gonna talk. You know what? I look. The first day is is a date during the day. Is at the fucking park. All right. Yeah, y'all go get some food. Can't even say date. Okay, say okay, shit. Clock. Interview. See, y'all niggas got y'all y'all niggas be hating on the white bitches and the white niggas. What you talking about? The white niggas be like, hey, let's go get coffee. You, go, you like tea? I got a good tea spot. Oh, you like sushi? We gonna go to the sushi spot right here and get the sushi. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Who the fuck drink coffee? <laughs> bitches do. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? They should be tired in the morning. Yeah, they need they should be tired. They need coffee. They don't drink coffee. <laughs> but I'm ain't saying, no female talking about I need some coffee in the but, morning. But I'm saying, you tell her, you tell her like we got. They the looking coffee. for you, you a know, wig. No, no, no. They, 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 <laughs> <laughs> they look for no goddamn coffee. But the problem, see, the problem is though, is the fact that when it comes down to it, we always think we gotta take a girl out. We gotta wine and dine. Yeah, you no. Know, we can make the introduction. We can make it like. We can make it. Like, you know what? I took my, my wife for the first time. First, our first date literally was go kart world. And like, but you still took her out though. Took her to the go kart. Yeah, but like going out don't have to be a restaurant. You took her to a place where y'all have fun at, and yeah. that's the key yeah. to have fun. Yeah. To have fun. I would rather. I would rather before I take you to my strolls. I would rather take you to Disneyland. It's the same. You spending the same amount of yeah. money. At least I know I'm about to enjoy myself. So. First date is somewhere where 
you don't want to show out, but you want to establish a conversation. You want to talk and have fun. The movies ain't the first day. No, no, movies watch TV. You don't talk in the movies. You watch the fucking screen, then you take them back home. No movies. First date, movies out the window. Maybe that's like once y'all establish y'all relationship. That's some high school shit. You just take a girl to the South Bay Gallery, it goes to the top floor, and then say, and prepare for a movie that's two hours later so you can walk around uh -huh. and, and and flaunt and all that other shit, act like you about to buy something and be like, oh damn, I left my debit card at the house. <laughs> no, for real, like, I'm big on like going to the park. Like, I would rather go to a little place, get some food, and go sit at the park. Got you done at the park, you go push in the swing, you know, she get all nice and feel like she you know doing something sweet, and you get some points. You know, you're not doing nothing big, but it's sweet. I but think so, sweet so, dates so, is great so, again. So it's you, dating. So you saying the first date with a first introduction? It's with a no a woman, pressure date. It's it's no pressure. So yeah. it's a secured credit card. Cause we talking yeah. about yeah credit. We talking yeah. about yeah relationship credit. Relationship, relationship credit. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and title of this episode: yeah. Relationship Credit. And building your credit score. Building your credit score. So, no, so let me ask you a question, right? So this is a, like honestly, God truth. Are you with a monogamous relationship? Do I believe in them? 100%. No. You don't believe in 100%? No. I don't believe a man can sit there and tell his woman that he's solely a monogamous person because we're not. Okay. Elaborate. Because monogamy means like you're solely with one person and mm -hmm. we're not because we got past relationships that we think about all the time. So we're not constantly fully... In one relationship because we're reminiscing about the passions we had. But I mean, just because you're reminiscing, if you don't act, like woman will say, if you don't fuck, you ain't cheating. Yeah, but we, shit, I might fuck all day. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, but you can mind fucking fuck her at the same time. Exactly. Am I cheating, motherfucker? Is that a no! Is that a threesome? Good. It could be. If so, damn. <laughs> Shit, niggas went out here in the street. If that's a threesome, niggas went out here in the street. Shout out to the motherfucker. Why you fight? Like, but I'm saying, you still monogamous. I mean, physically, yeah. Physically. All they care about is physically. But, but okay, but they don't care mentally. But let's say if you meet a woman and she, tell, and she tells you that you can be who you want to be as long as you respect me, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you take that and you say, okay, I love you, but. I'm feeling her too. Is that wrong? If you've been upfront with her in the beginning, she said, nah. just don't. If she, if she, like, the, the, the respectful part, I I can't talk because I ain't a woman. Yeah. But what I would say is, the respectful part is, is that you're bringing it to the table. Now, she makes that a, a decision right then and there. Yeah. The problem is with us, bro, and it's, and it, it is us, we have this conversation off air a lot of times, but the problem with us is, we don't necessarily say what we want. We cater to the to the women wants. Yes and no. I think we cater to the programming of tradition that we it says that by law we gotta we, lie. That we have to be monogamous. By law to, we gotta lie. No, but by law we have to marry one. No, by law we gotta lie. By law, by law, by law. South Central LA, yeah. being a somewhat Christian Baptist, whatever yeah. the fuck we wanna be, yeah. by law. We have to lie to get what we want. Because if we don't lie, we don't get what we want. At the end of the day, if we walk up to a girl, I'm like, damn, you so fine, I want your pussy. You're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too, me, me, all that shit. All that shit. You cancel. Like, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. We as black people call black men kings, correct? We, we, yeah, but we don't have Bible. Okay, but if we look in history, with kings, kings set the rules. Yes. Kings tells the kingdom what's right and what's wrong and hear what I say and that is law. Yes. So if you consider me a king, you have to hear about my rules and accept them. True. Now, you see kings in history, they get married, they have one, two, three, how many wives as they want. King Tut died. It's in the Bible mm -hmm. about a king having many wives. Mm -hmm. King David had many wives and took your wife, he was a cold motherfucker. That nigga was a cold. Pig. He was a cold motherfucker, and that's and that's happening now. True, you know, because once you tell somebody they're a king, they act as a king, so they're not wrong. But hold on, hold on. He had many wives. 
He had one queen. It's a difference. And it was a exactly. Is that acceptable today? Can you have many wives and one queen? In some relationships, it is like that. Like a shout out to um, Amon Shepard and T uh, Tiana Taylor. Their relationship. They 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 tag team bitches. I I seen and heard on the radio. Like you know, shout out to Ti and Tiny. Whatever the fuck they do. You feel me? <laughs> like, but. <laughs> That. I don't give a fuck. Look, end of the day. But let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. And I'm only asking this question because, like, for me, if I met a woman and she said, if I wanted to expand the situation, mm -hmm. I would love that. True. I would love that. Not saying, oh, because it's about the sex. I just want to be 100% happy. Not, not healthy to happy, just knowing that I can. And it's not going to disrupt what we have. And then if she's somebody that she likes and not in a not in sexual way, they both could be straight. Just love the fact that we're all here collectively doing something great. Yeah. You know? Agree. People always assume that it's about the sex. No. It's not about sex. I just want to see the rent get paid three ways. That's really it. <laughs> 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 that's, that's really oh, it. Shit. But you know what the crazy thing about that part is? Bro. And I'm saying it's on bar talk. Like... Truthfully, every man don't mind a, a, a threesome. Every man don't mind tag teaming with their wife. Yeah. They woman, they girl, whatever. The case. But let's take out the sex. Even I'm, if you take out, even so, if you take out so, the sex. So, I can, I'm going to be honest with you. I can have fun with my girl and her friends and feel like I had a fucking orgy. Yeah. See, look. I don't like the, the focus on... The sexual interaction, even though it's going to occur, yeah, it's going to be there, yeah. but that's not the main focus. My thing is, let's have people in the house that can really work together. Cause when you open up a business, you can start a business with, with five people, right? So you talking about? So so here we go. We talking about polygamy? No, 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 no. Because she don't have to be a wife. She don't have to be, but she, she should be, be a part of. The, she, she be a part of the team. She be a part of the team, but she's not legally bonded to be there. She right. only there because we found somebody that meet what we're looking for to build to what we're trying to create. That's all what it is. She can leave or go with her like she, they ain't no R. Kelly shit. She's not kidnapped. No. She can leave, but like if I like her and then she like her, hey yo. Shout out to you. I want you to move in with us because we feel like you are a like minded individual that could really fit what we're trying to create. But let me ask you this question. The motherfucker bad. Motherfucker Lisa Ray bad. Boom. There's gonna be some uh, attraction there. You don't wanna fuck, you don't wanna yeah. fuck, bro. So but it's gonna, 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 gonna go to play with me. But it's gonna be a mutual agreement. Like, I like her, she like her, we like each other. So, if we get physical. I don't think it's it. Is. Okay, so what's your definition of a threesome? Um. <laughs> Damn, you caught the cat caught you son? No, no, good. No, a threesome is the obvious thing. Me and two women. Okay, you and two women. Yeah. Okay, so with you and two women, exactly, are you? Is a threesome you fucking two women within the same session? But not a threesome. Oh, it's not a threesome. I mean fucking two bitches. Exactly. Yeah. So a threesome would be We all entertain with each other. You know, she eat her, she eat her, I'll fuck them. Like we all fuck each other. And it can't be no rules. Of course not. Like, I hate when like, yeah, if we have a threesome but you can't fuck her, then bitch is not a fucking threesome. This is it's a it's you Looking or or she's looking while I fuck you and she just a spectator. Nah, nigga, we rent the mouth. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we rent the mouth. You might as well pay for this shit. Yeah, you rent the mouth. But it's where everybody's comfortable. Like I know a lot of women, they have a straight mindset where they feel like they don't want to share. What the fuck that mean? They don't want to share, so they feel uncomfortable with that concept. Would you be comfortable if your woman asks? Here we go. <laughs> the question. Women ask this shit. We never asked that shit. No? I understand. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Fuck I'm that. Gonna, I'm gonna tell you. No, because you know the answer. I know the answer. The, the, the answer is no. The, the answer. The answer. Cause look. The reason why. The reason why. I because ask, I'm the king, right? Yeah. The king. Don't say. Hey, okay. You wanna go fuck her? But see, this is that don't happen. This is the problem with the. The magazines, like the Vobes and all these other magazines. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. All the Vobes and all these other magazines. These bitches have been following since the 90s. Yeah. And they over here, they all they represent Queen Elizabeth and Princess Boom. Diana. Yeah. And all this other shit. Yeah. The shit that Europeans do. You feel me? Yeah. Where the, um, the, they run their kingdom. 
and the nigga just stand on the side and be a prince and be like, I'm a prince for life. Yeah. That type of shit. So we're talking as black men mm -hmm. of being kings and yeah. women calling us kings. I mean, talk to the camera, man. I'm talking to the camera, but we're talking. We're talking to we're talking as black black women like black women call men kings and we're kings and shit, but they want to gravitate to the European lifestyle where they want to be the queen of everything and rule everything. But the prince of Zamunda, uh, uh, the queen of Zamunda, wanted to get turned out with the homegirl from Boom. Brooklyn. Yeah. You feel me? So look, so I think, so if a woman wants to spray that type of threesome, she has to find men who are, who are willing to do that off top. Now, I'm, I wasn't even saying, I wasn't even saying the fact that but women do like they they be they try to play that with a man. When a, when a man talk about three a woman, she throw out that rebuttal with that scenario, and she know for a fact that he gonna say no, and that's why she says no. But you know why niggas say threesome? Be honest with you. Why? Because the, be honest, we we want a, a, a threesome, mm -hmm. the real threesome. Mm -hmm. We don't want the threesome in a relationship threesome. The reason why. We don't want the rules, the look, the side looks, or whatever the case. Yeah. We want two random bitches. We fucking as a threesome. Yeah. Hey, everybody's game on. Yeah. Nobody have emotional ties. Yeah. yeah. Now, the niggas say threesome because it's like, babe, we have tag team on a bitch. You low key gay in your mind on the side, left side, a little bit. Anyway, let's tag team on a bitch. And we tag team on the bitch. I can not only fuck you, I can fuck her too, and we all be satisfied at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's why, Miss. But truth be told, if they not liking girls at all, it can't not happen. even sister, it can't happen. You'd be like, "Hey, babe, look, I love you, but can I fuck this right now?" And if she say no, you like you like fuck her. She said no, I can't do it. Yeah. But if she be like, "Go and do your thing," guarantee you have a happier motherfucking relationship. Mm hmm. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. The only reason why women hold the control because they've been listening to all these white magazines where they print Princess Diana and Princess Eli Queen Elizabeth and uh, Princess and the Frog and, and all that shit. All that shit. Yeah. Where they rule the king. Where women rule the kingdom. But you call the king a king for a reason. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And that's all we're saying. If you want us to be your man, you want us to be your king, then let us rule do the that. kingdom. Let now, us sexually, it. now sexually, it's we come to you and it's whatever it is sexually, yada yada yada. But if I say we about to go to Alaska and sell igloo, uh, sell igloos in Alaska, you shh, nigga, I say I got a lick on it. I need you to be confident that I'm gonna Girl, do it. backpack and let's go. Oh God, you know, and that's where the support system come in at. If you have support and you have that type of understanding, it's really hard to have a failed relationship because the understanding and the roles are being played out. It's when people question or want to be better than that role is what caused the problem. When the woman wants to be more than what she thinks she is at the point. She, she wants to raise the, the stakes. When everything is working well, you have to raise them together. It never should be an individual wanting more. It should be y'all wanting more together. The problem is the women think they playing chess when they in a relationship, when they playing checkers. At the end of the day, who got more to lose? If you get married today, who got more to lose? Facts. Mm -hmm. The men. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So, when you, get, when you get married mm -hmm. and God forbid a divorce, do you know what happens in that divorce? I give up half for everything. No, 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 no. Not give up half. Y'all leave out equal because of the half get divided. Y'all leave out equal. Because y'all came in as one. Mm -hmm. So, even though people call it half, it's not half. It's y'all walking away equal. Oh, no. But it is. No. Yes, it is. No. Okay. If, if you, you gotta, make $100,000 and she make $40,000. No, I'm not talking about that. No, 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 no. Okay. no. That's, a, that's, that's what, what's, what's that? $140,000, yeah, right? You're talking, about a, you're talking about a collective savings account. Yeah. A collective this. Uh, for, if, you, if you put in 50% of your check into a savings account uh -huh. and she put 50% in her savings account, mm -hmm. you make a hundred, she make fucking 40. Yeah. Right? But that's... That's one account for both of y'all to use. I so y'all get divorced, it gets divided. So no money goes with her, and her money goes with you. For sure. Guess what else goes with so her? Guess, guess, guess what else goes with her? What? Guess what else goes with her? What? I have alimony for half the time of the years that I've been married. 
So if I was married for 10 years, I'd give her alimony because of her lifestyle. That she said, you you having that same <laughs> There's nothing else. That's not, no. That's, what, that's not what you, you don't decide that. Courts decide. Look, if I get married, if the I get problem divorced. is, the problem is, the problem is, 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 is women force men into marriage. I've been, I, me and my wife been been together for a fucking long time. Mm hmm We got married when the time was right. Boom. Right? COVID. Wait. Boom. You feel me? And I feel 100%. Yo. This was a fucking raw episode of Bar Talk. It's Daniel. This is Damo. And, you know. Thank y'all for watching. And uh, we got more coming, y'all. So, look. When y'all out there thinking, just know. We all over at Bar Talking. Look, like, subscribe, comment. Hit, hit, hit us up. Tell us uh, how y'all feel. All the bullshit that y'all feel. Because, you know what? We talked a lot about ladies. But, you know, one thing is. Black man don't cheat. And we love black women. Hey, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> the fair the skin, the deeper the hole. She be by a bit. Working the body. Hey, she, 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 she know what she do. She make it grow. A real nigga from day one. Day one. Always on point, nigga. A one. A one. And white bitch, you can have it. Light skin, where you have it.